been a director of the Boulder Summer School for 15 years now. So I run these schools uh, in collaboration with my co-organizers, uh, uh, Steve Gervin, who conceived the, uh, the idea for the school 15 years ago, uh, and Andy Millis, uh, Matthew Fisher, and myself, and now Christina Marchetti. Andy Millis has since, ro since rotated off the uh, organizational uh, co-founders uh, staff, and uh, Christina Marchetti from Syracuse University has joined us. So again, the idea was conceived for the schools, was conceived uh, in 2000, and when we put in a proposal for, actually it was a year earlier, put in a proposal to NSF and were uh, happy to learn that it was uh, very, uh, very well received and uh, has been supported by material science uh, at NSF since then. Uh, the first inaugural school was actually in superconductivity and since then we've ran uh, uh, a broad range of schools from biophysics to magnetism to superconductivity and this is the first time we're actually coming down to superconductivity. Of course it's been a component of other correlated quantum uh, hard matter schools. Uh, so I wanted to first again welcome you to Boulder, welcome you to the summer school. I'm actually happy to see some familiar faces, a few students are coming back. Uh, and uh, so uh, I wanted to, before we turn to the uh, scientific part of the program, I wanted to say a few words, organizational words, and a few things about the, the kind of the history of the school, which you already began with. Uh, again, so the school is supported by NSF and in part by uh, uh, University of Colorado here in Boulder. Uh, and it's actually quite an undertaking to get you all here, to get all the lectures from all over the world. Uh, to come here, it's about $250,000 a year to pay for the housing and airline tickets and all that. Uh, so you should be very privileged that uh, you're uh, best and brightest that you selected school every year. School is highly oversubscribed. And so I'm happy to see that you guys are all eager to come here. Um, so again, so the school now is run by Steve Gervin, uh, Matthew Fisher, Christina Marchetti, and myself. And we, uh, each year we get solicit proposals from the greater scientific community in sort of material science and conducting matter physics uh, on a range of topics and then select the school each year, different school each year. It's always held in Boulder for four weeks in July. And we take, uh, uh, you know, guidance also from a distinguished uh, group of 20 scientists, uh, advisory board of 20 scientists. Uh, so past schools have been great success. Uh, at least judging by the uh, feedback of uh, participants that we uh, solicit every year and we'll solicit from you. Uh, and this year, uh, I anticipate another fantastic school thanks to uh, all the efforts of the scientific organizers that are in the back huddling, uh, scrambling to figure out what to say after I, I sit down. So let me introduce them. Sandel, who probably needs no introduction. Uh, Oscar, Oscar Waffe. And then Dessa, my colleague here from Boulder, and uh, last but no, not least, Andre Chubukov, who is not here, but who is kind of spearheaded this uh, organization of this program, he will be arriving in, this, in the second week uh, and will be staying the rest of the time. So yeah, so these guys have worked really hard to, to make this program a success, and I anticipate, as in past years, it will be fantastic looking at the selection of speakers and the program they put together. Uh, so that's one reason the school, one reason the school's been successful is we've really worked really hard, the four of us, the co-founders of the school, to select really good organizers. But the other reason, and probably even more important reason, uh, uh, school's been such success is that the students have been so amazing and, and in particularly took charge and participated in the school very actively. Uh, rather than treating it like a conference where you you know, just sort of passively sit there and let the speakers get away with murder and uh, <laughs> uh, snowing you. This is really, you should really treat it like a classroom. And you really should challenge every, everything that's being said and, you know, jump in there and ask questions, discuss during the class, during the lectures and after the lectures. So that's your, cha that's your goal, that's the challenge to you. It's up to you to make it a success. So that's one way you can make it successful is participate and challenge the lectures. But there are many other components. Uh, get involved in the school in other ways by organizing seminars. We have uh, we can provide and have reserved uh, additional lecture rooms or uh, additional seminar rooms that you can take advantage of. Uh, well, 
or you can use this room uh, for student seminars. And so in the past, that's uh, one of the activities that students have done. They've put together informal uh, seminars. Of course, we have poster sessions where all the you all will hopefully put to participate in. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, after lectures, you know, the student uh, lectures are supposed to pose some questions, and they will pose questions. So it's good for you guys to get together and discuss those questions, not just let it kind of uh, uh, be a challenge, but actually go and try to, after hours, work on those questions. You're all staying together. There's plenty of room for. There's plenty of time for, uh, for you know, discussion of the lectures and. Uh, uh, and some, some of you are maybe experts in one, one topic that's being discussed one week or the other, so you can lead those discussions. You can, you can organize study groups. Now we've been fantastic. We've done it in the past and been very, very successful. Um, the other big component of how you can get involved in the school, and not this I really am going to strongly kind of pound on the table to get you guys to do, and that is, uh, you can see on the walls here, uh, samples of past Boulder Summer School uh, t-shirts. And I think I asked Daphne, Daphne, who is the administrative uh, staff member at Yale, to send you a heads up about this. Did you guys all receive an email about the t-shirts? So what we asked the students to do, and, you, and the time was short because we still have to make them and all that, uh, and finalize the design, we asked the students, I asked, them, I asked you guys all this first day to start thinking about uh, and get involved and volunteer in designing, proposing a design for a t-shirt that sort of represents the school. And so one way I can encourage you, or push you a little bit, nudge you to make sure that this gets done, is that you don't want to be the school that doesn't have a t-shirt representing you. You want to go to the next March meeting wearing proudly a t-shirt as you link up with your classmates uh, of 2014 Boulder Summer School for dinner or for lunch or whatever, wearing your t-shirt. And so we will produce t-shirts, t-shirts that will be free to you and we'll, we'll get them available to you, but we need your ideas, we need your designs, okay? And uh, so start thinking about them now, okay? So in the end, you'll produce something in the front, something for the back, some PDF, a PDF file, and then we'll get, them, uh, we'll get them printed. But it needs to happen, basically, by the end of second week, we need to have a design, otherwise there's a... Because we don't want to be shipping, we don't want to be stuck with shipping them to you know, 80 people. So we want to make sure that they're already printed by the, by the end of our third week. And that means the design needs to be there in the second week. Uh, so some local details. Uh, uh, so one key person that's uh, been responsible for helping me run the school or you know, do all the logistics and, uh, is Xiao Ying, my, my graduate student. He's a, so if you need any help, if you have any questions about local things, so you contact him. He's a physicist. Uh, uh, third, uh, what, what year are you? Fourth <laughs> <laughs> year PhD. Uh, he works on quantum many body systems, focusing on cold atoms. So you can get, he'll be eager to discuss uh, physics with you, but also uh, he will answer all your questions about local local things. Um, the other important component of administration is. Uh, Marilyn in the main physics office on the ground floor. Uh, she will be collecting your reimbursements uh, uh, information. So if you're coming from a U.S. university, university within the United States, you will get your, within some limit, you will get your travel expenses covered. And so you submit your travel reimbursement information to Maryland. Okay? And then there's another person behind the scenes, Dakota, who's actually going to process it. But Maryland is in the main physics office. Grab, get, a, you know, take a few minutes from the coffee break to come down and uh, to the main physics office to submit the information. And I urge you to do that early, so uh, you know, last day of school, you don't have 65 students banging on the door, of Maryland's door, and trying to overwhelm the system. So yeah, so you know, casually in the next week or two, stop by there, and, uh, and so it's not all in one day. Um, there's a rec center here in the really good newly renovated rec center, so you have privileges. You can use your name tag and then pay at the door to get into the rec center. It's just uh, north of here, north uh, west of here. Uh, there's wireless here in the in the well everywhere on campus. You can use a guest account, and there are instructions in the uh, handout that you picked up at the registration, or if you didn't, there's one in the back of how to get into the wireless. It's pretty easy. There's also a lab. 
uh, computer lab, PC lab across the hall, which you know gives you more power, computing power. So if you need to use those, we have an account on, on those, and the I'll write down the login. So it's C matter. He's login, and then it's a uh, for dark matter. <laughs> I haven't tried to log in, but please, if you if you if you have have the need for it, and we log and we try to log in and see if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll help you, or we'll fix it. Uh, so one thing I'm, I was urged by conference services to remind you of: there's no alcohol uh, in public places. It's maybe strange to Europeans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the policy. They're really strict about it. So you know, if you need to drown your sorrows, you can drink in your room. But. Uh, <laughs> public areas, otherwise they will shut us down. Uh, so heat, you may notice, you know, it really fluctuates here, uh, but it should not be a problem. So uh, most of the day, we're in an air-conditioned room, and the nice thing about Boulder, no matter how hot it gets in the daytime, in the evening it's, it cools down enormously. So there's a huge sway between uh, daytime and nighttime. So you should be comfortable, even though they, uh, in the evening you should be comfortable, even though the rooms are not air-conditioned. Uh, don't forget to drink a lot of water. You may not notice it until it's kind of you start feeling bad. So, so keep hydrated, especially if you go out hiking. Uh, no meals in, or housekeeping on weekends. I have a bunch of stuff for you if you want to. The other activity that people often engage in, students often engage in soccer or other sports, uh, basketball, especially now with the World Cup going on. Uh, uh, I think uh, with a lot of European, big European component, I think. Uh, uh, so I have a soccer ball, I have a basketball, and if you need something else, we can buy it for you. So <laughs> don't just leave that. Uh, um, so there's a lot of uh, pitches. One is a south of uh, Dwayne Physics, and then there's business fields that you can you can uh, hijack to play soccer in the afternoon and evenings. Uh, the other things to do in Boulder is of course hiking. There are a bunch of hiking guides in the back with maps. You can borrow those. Please just sign them out. Uh, the date, your name, and the guy that you signed out, and, uh, and make sure to turn them back. Uh, but you, they're there for you to use. If you need some other guy, I can, we can buy it for you. Anything you want to make you comfortable and happy here. Um, you can also rent bikes on the hill. There's a lot of bike shops around, so I encourage you to rent bikes and run right around. There's tubing in the Boulder Creek, and I think I may have a tube from last year or two, so uh, if you're interested in tubing, I'll check tonight to see if I still have it. If not, you can buy it fairly inexpensively at a local gas station. There's a Chautauqua Park, which has lots and lots of uh, hikes, uh, local hikes, then there's Eldorado Canyon. Uh, big attraction is the Pearl Street Mall, where you can do a lot of shopping, really nice restaurants and stuff just downtown. And of course, there's a Rocky Mountain National Park, so typically students organize hikes, uh, you know, longish hikes uh, uh, to the Rocky Mountain National Park on the weekends. Well, anyway, with, uh, with that, I will, uh, Close my remarks and turn my uh, your attention to the to the organizers, scientific organizers, to say a few words about scientific programs. Again, welcome to Boulder, and I look forward to interacting with all of you in the next four weeks. Okay, welcome. Uh, my name is Oscar Vafek. I'm one of the uh, co-organizers, scientific organizers of this uh, uh, Boulder Summer School. But the other two, as uh, has been mentioned uh, are in the back, San Phil and Ben Desau, and Andre Kubukov will be here next week on Sunday. Um, I'd like to say a few words about um, the overall uh, scientific uh, mission or scientific uh, outlook of this school. So in the first week will be predominantly uh, thematically a phenomenology uh, of um, typically unconventional uh, uh, high temperature supergators. Uh, we'll have uh, speakers uh, who are experts uh, in the field who will give this uh, who will give these lectures. Friday is a holiday, so this will be a short week. Uh, the next two weeks will be sort of uh, slowly uh, drifting towards um, via phenomenology towards um, perhaps a mechanism of unconventional superconductivity. And in the fourth week, it will be sort of extra topics of the kind. Um, uh, that involve, uh, let's say, um, topological superconductivity, 
or uh, cold atoms. So that's sort of the overall uh, uh, big theme uh, here. Now, um, you may have been uh, asking yourself, uh, what are we going to do today uh, between 4.15 and uh, 5.15, so student introductions. The idea is that uh, you'll get to somehow uh, know each other, you introduce yourself, um, and that way uh, it'll be more effective as we uh, go along. Um, there will be three poster sessions, and we'll split them uh, alphabetically. So uh, the first one, which will be this week, will be uh, whosoever, uh, if the last name is uh, uh, between A and J, including both, then it will be this week. So um, that's, uh, um, that's Wednesday. July second. Uh, if uh, you are between here, then it will be the next uh, poster session, which uh, should be third. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to, uh, uh, as uh, Leo said, you're not supposed to let your lecture go away, get away with the murder. <laughs> I think there's someone who starts, whose name starts with Q, is there? <laughs> Alright, um, so this will be on uh, July 16th. And the last one, tell. Um, on July 23rd. Okay, um, we have uh, something called sound bites, uh, which um, is um, uh, uh, a program that um, appeared uh, before and was quite successful. And so the idea there is that for those of you who will have posters, uh, uh, you should contact the organizers beforehand and you would give a short uh, presentation on your poster. It's sort of an advertisement. Uh, depending on how many of you sign up for this, uh, the length of your presentation uh, can be adjusted. So um, uh, the first one will be on uh, Tuesday. And uh, by the way, during the sound bites, you're also allowed to ask questions to the lecturers on their lectures. Um, and uh, uh, this will be sort of a free uh, discussion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would, ask, I would probably recommend that everybody would just everybody who's presenting a poster that week would just give the sound bite, and it's you know limited to a minute or two just to advertise your your poster. That's this way it's all uh, uniform and you know, doesn't get out of hand in terms of time. Otherwise, we'll be here for <laughs> we can do that as well. Um, okay, so that's that's basically uh, it from uh, from the organizers. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay, uh, well, if not, we are a little bit early, which is good. Uh, point are you ready, Chance? Our first speaker is Professor Randeria from Ohio State. Okay, no. <coughs> 